Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me today as we spend these moments with our Good Shepherd. Our reading today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 8, reading verses 11 through 13. You see, the weak person is being destroyed by your knowledge, the brother for whose Christ died. And when you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their weak conscience, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I do not cause my brother to sin. Freedom is a pretty amazing thing, isn't it? When was the last time you thought about what your life would be like if you lived in a despotic country instead of America? As Americans, and as Christians, we get to enjoy a double portion of freedom. As Americans, we enjoy all of the freedoms our Constitution in, entitles us to. As Americans, we are pretty much free, to, in theory, to say what we want to say, do what we want to do, live and work where we want to. And as Christians, we are free from the demands and the condemnation of the law. We no longer are forced to do what the law does. We're free from all of that because Jesus fulfilled it through his perfect life. And so we really have the freedom to do as we want. But St. Paul says that even though in theory we have the freedom to do what we want, we are still bound by the law of love. And the law of love says that we won't do those things that we are free to do if they cause another Christian to stumble in their faith. In Corinthians here, some newer Christians were very disturbed by the fact that some other Christians or longer time Christians were eating meat that had been sacrificed to idols and then sold in the grocery stores. And that troubled their conscience. Now, you and I don't have to worry about meat sacrificed to idols uh, being sold in our grocery stores. But that was a common thing in the city of Corinth. And even though the stronger Christians knew that there was nothing wrong with it, because idols are just pretend, there's only one true God. Still, they, Paul urges them to not eat that meat for the sake of their weaker brothers and sisters. So the broad rule that God is establishing here for us is that in our Christian freedom, even though we are able to do certain things or to do most anything we want, Yet, as Christians in our freedom, we're also free not to do those things if they were to cause someone else to sin or to, to stumble in their faith. The overriding rule, then, is simply love. Let the love of Christ be reflected in all you do or even in the things you don't do. We pray. Heavenly Father, fill us with the love of Jesus. Let his love for us pour out on the world around us as we seek to bring you glory in all we do. Forgive us when we focus too much on what we want. Help us to see how we can help others see your love at work in our lives. Amen. Well, everyone, enjoy this 4th of July weekend as you celebrate the freedoms that God has given to you through our country and as Christians.